Campaigners say the issuing of sodium valproate to pregnant women is a scandal that's been impacting families for almost five decades. It's led to babies being born with deformities, autism and learning difficulties. The epilepsy drug was first issued in 1973. It's known to be harmful to fetuses, but an investigation by the Sunday Times found it's still being prescribed to pregnant women with warnings covered up. Lisa Skeen from Rowling's Gill was given Valproate in 1984. She says she was never told of the dangers to pregnant women. You know, to all of a sudden have this three-year-old and a newborn baby who was in special care for months on end, and then just to see in his notes, Valproate syndrome, and when I asked about them, they were snatched out of my hand. Lisa's daughter Bethany has mild effects. She cares for her brother, who will never live independently. So Dominic has a global development delay, uh, autistic tendencies, Asperger's, glaucoma, cataracts, arthritis, bilateral hernia, and both under and overactive thyroid. Is that directly related to this issue? As far as we've been made aware of, yes it is. Manufacturer Sanofi raised concerns in the 70s that the drug could be harmful to fetuses, but a medical committee decided the risk was low and it could still be used. The latest figures show that Valproate was prescribed to 247 pregnant women between April 2018 and September 2021. Sanofi says it's not involved in dispensing medicinal products. The company says their pacts include warnings to pregnant women and it supports the move to ensure that all patients have access to the appropriate information. In 2012, a campaign trust was launched called InFact. It was co-founded by Janet Williams, who took the drug when she was pregnant with her sons Lee and Philip. Now in their 30s, they both need 24-hour care as a result of fetal contact with Valproate. Janet believes families deserve compensation. The fact that they've known for so long, and it wasn't until our campaign started in 2013 that the MHRA obviously had to then, then get hold of this and try and do something with it. But 10 years on and we're still sat here waiting. And that's what makes it even worse. The fact that they've known for so long and so many children have been damaged by this, it's, it's shameful, really. The government ordered an independent safety review in 2018. It was chaired by Baroness Julia Cumberledge. The review was conducted by the Medicines and Healthcare Regulator. A spokesperson said, Valproate must no longer be prescribed to women or girls of childbearing potential unless they are on the Pregnancy Prevention Programme. But the Sunday Times has reported that it's still being prescribed to pregnant women in plain packaging without information leaflets or with warnings covered up. The Department for Health and Social Care said, We've accepted the majority of the recommendations in Baroness Cumberledge's report and there are wider forms of redress available for those who need it. Campaign groups continue to raise awareness of Valproate and say after five decades, words are empty and it's too little, too late. Rachel Sweeney, GB News.